Sarasota's Bay Project, what's going on? Hi everyone, my name is Mike Rennick. I'm the senior broker, I forget who I am sometimes, team, team leader, leader of Team Rennick, part of that great Mangrove Realty <laughs> Associates family. Welcome to another edition out and about the wet Florida's west coast with Mike. My guest today is Mr. Stephen Reed. Hey Stephen, how are you? Steve is the owner and publisher of the Longboat Key News and Sarasota City News. But we want to bring you up to date with what's happening on what we're calling the Bay Project. Steve, take it away. All right. Well, Mike, this is a um, this is a, a piece of history and a huge piece of the future of the city. This we're standing on the southern edge of 53 acres of city-owned, publicly owned land that's on the Gulf, on the water, uh, well, on the, bay. On, on the on intercoastal, the bay. On yeah, the bay. yeah, on the, yeah. On the bay. That stretches all the way. You can't see it in the picture, but to the south of us is 888-788 BOCL. And then it stretches all the way north, encompasses Van Wazel, the boat ramps, and goes all the way past such institutions as the Lone, the Sarasota. Um, we have the orchestra right over there. We have, we used to have G Wiz. This used to be the site of the G Wiz Museum. We've done and, a video on that, haven't we? Right. And, and over the years, there's been a lot of soul searching. The city said, we have all this land, it's wasted with parking. Let's rebuild the Van Wazel and an entertainment complex. Mm -hmm. And that stalled and staggered for decades, literally decades, since I've been down here, you know, 26 years. And then about six years ago, a process began that joined uh, private people, Michael Clauber and, and, and his group and, and, and the public and they put it together in this 2020 plan, and then it turned into the Bayfront plan, and now it's the Bay. And the idea is, and it's, it's, it's been accepted, approved by the city, is to build this 53 acres as a cultural, arts, recreational, and park venue for the so city. Let's step back for just okay. a second. For folks who, who were thinking about Sarasota but maybe haven't visited, Sarasota is known for the arts, for the culture, um, for those kind of things to do, right? And as um, future comes and, and um, progress comes and things like that, it's all about the, the city council, the mayors, the elected yeah. officials. What are we going to do to keep that notoriety for Sarasota? That's where this project is. And, and the next generation, what are we gonna do? These, these entities have been built hodgepodge throughout the city. So now is the time to soul search and pull it together, and they did. Mm -hmm. And we're standing on what's phase one of the approved plan. It's a phase project. It's going to be, you know, uh, almost a you know billion dollar type of undertaking. But this is phase one, and they're calling it the entry to the bay. What it is is along the south end of the land, they've created connectivity with the city, and that's what they're doing. They're they're building mangrove walkways through the mangrove. Uh, hammock that that exists down there. They're taking the old Kiwis site and they're going to create a pier. There's going to be a pier out there okay. that juts out into the waterway, a promenade. The, the the entire project will have parks, piers, a little amphitheater, a new Van Wazel. The boat ramp will be redone. So, There's a lot coming. We're really leveraging our waterfront to yeah. make it available accessible but available for everybody here right yeah so they can all enjoy it there's oh, something here for everyone and, and an exciting part is they're connecting you know how everyone walks the ringling bridge in the city they're going to connect that walkway that pathway the legacy trail and the walkability of this city will be connected here so that's that's part of the goal is to have a city that basically connects from downtown um Sarasota to St. Armand's, which yes. now it does. Remember yep. the Mert? We did one about we, the Mert Trail. Yes, yes. To connect all of that, that thing connects to Longboat, then that connects to da to Lido, and now you have it connecting northward here. And so you're starting to see the way this pedestrian, this future Sarasota is coming together. A lot of work has gone into this to tie everything together. A lot of work, and, and in a weird way, I, I, I love being in the news business because Sarasota is one of those towns you do have to stay on top of it. It keeps yes. changing, evolving. A lot of pressures and so we need to come back down the road and do another update on this correct yeah we're gonna see a lot of changes here you're gonna see construction residents will start being able to use this you know within a year they'll be out here doing things so it's, it's neat okay it's neat Steve thing. I appreciate the update thank you very much thanks for watching we'll be back with more of what's happening here on Florida's West Coast